you just say it, it was like one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Sorry guys, we messed up the first video, so this is our second take. This or is take number six. Our eighth take. <laughs> because I keep restarting it. But anyways, on this video we're going to talk about the 11 things that are supposed to happen on real dates that don't happen anymore. The first one is, prior to the date, you're supposed to feel nervous, especially if it's the first date. How did you feel on our first date, babe? I was not nervous at whatever. For, <laughs> I mean, I was, <laughs> I was not nervous whatsoever. The reason being is I don't get nervous for anything. For sporting events, women, nothing makes me nervous at all. Um, some people think that's a good thing, some people think it's a bad thing. Uh, regardless, I was not nervous at all. Um, I felt completely compared, but one thing that I have to say about my not being nervous is I always feel like, even if I'm not really prepared, that I can just kind of come up with some shit and make me look a lot better than I am. <laughs> so, I was not I'm on the opposite. I'm on the opposite of that. I was more than nervous. I I had my roommate there and she came along on our first date and her boyfriend. We went on Valentine's Day last year to Ruth's Chris for dinner and I would say that I was beyond nervous. I ended up uh, getting a glass of wine to calm my nerves, which I don't think is a bad thing. I think you can drink that's to calm nerves. That's one of the things. You're supposed to go on numbers here, right? Well, okay, yeah. Nerves, nerve calming, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, I think having friends there is probably the easiest. Uh, alcohol is step two. Um, although it's not recommended in all situations. Just be careful who you drink around. Because uh, some people don't find it all that cool. So, I mean, just be careful about that. But I wasn't nervous. I was. Some people are, some people aren't. <laughs> okay, our number two number is two. you're supposed to spend too much time getting ready. It's another thing I think we're complete opposites on. I uh, spent I spent two weeks before buying a dress, a new dress, and figuring out how I was gonna do my hair and my makeup that night and I was probably up at 8 o'clock that morning worrying about it. How I was going to look, what I was going to do, how long it was going to take me to get ready, if you oh, thought I was going to be crazy, that kind of thing. And I think you were the opposite. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty relaxed. I had stuff that I just had in my closet. And really wasn't that worried about it. First impressions to me are always... They're super important to me, but... The impression that I give off, initially anyway, is I want like... you to think that I don't give a shit. <laughs> okay. Our number <laughs> three is pick you up at your place at seven. So I'm assuming that this is the, guy should drive the male. The, the male is talking to the female, so he is saying, "I'll pick you up at your place at seven. Yes. Which doesn't happen anymore, and again, they think that it should. Depending on your situation, um, we started, well, I guess technically we still are in a long distance relationship. Uh, us being separated by just about 200 miles. Or is it three? How long it is? It feels like it's forever. Fucking, it's three and a half hours. <laughs> is how far we're separated so take that as you will but yeah depending I mean, on your situation if you live in the same neighborhood you yes when you can, first date you should probably be picked up yeah uh, I think it's important to I mean it depends on the car ride uh, the car ride kind of sets the tone if it's quiet there's not a lot of small talk then you're kind of stuck there uh, meeting on the first date kind of important because you always have an out you can leave whenever I think it's kind of important for the first date anyway oh, okay number four whatever happened to flowers 
flowers. Like I said the first time we did this video. Um, flowers are kind of tricky and they're pretty annoying. Um, I have gotten flowers for somebody before without knowing exactly what flowers mean. Or the like the color and the specific flower that I got meant. Uh, different flowers mean different things. Um, and different colors mean different things. Different colors of different flowers mean different things. Now, if that sounds confusing to you, then you have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. And you should, should figure do, it out do some before, research. Before, do some research. You, before you go bringing flowers to my house, do some research. <laughs> yes. Uh, any woman's house. Because some women, some women aren't going to give a shit. No, some like, women don't know. Yeah, Me, I don't know. So some, I shouldn't, I shouldn't yeah. say that. I don't know the difference. <laughs> Well, don't be bringing flowers to my girlfriend's house anyway. I'll be trash. But anyways, <laughs> the people who do know will just, they kind of take it. I mean, literally, I like I. If you're making a gesture towards them, that that's the same way that they take it. And I don't know. Do do your research before you buy flowers. Uh, and also think about the situation that you're in. It says here in the article, too, that if you're going out on a first date and you're picking them up, it's sort of an inconvenience if you're not going into their house before you go out on your date. Because then what does she do? Does she leave them in the car while you go in and eat dinner? What does she do with them? It's just kind of inconvenient. So make sure that you kind of have a plan of that you're gonna go knock on the door and come in for a minute so she can put them in a vase before you leave or something to that or if you want to wait until the third day third date and send send her flowers from the flower shop something to that just make sure you know what your situation is gonna be before you go ahead and do that number five says dinner not coffee not drinks not watching a movie at his place uh, I completely agree with this. I do too. Um, depending on the situation, uh, if you're trying to get, I mean, like we said in the first video, if you're trying to get boned, and that's all you want, maybe you try going to the old, uh, to the house, to see how it works out. But if you're not, going on a date's important, uh, it's kind of like a formality, and it kind of lets you know, like, where you stand, especially during the date depending on how it goes. Yes. You don't want to start with informal. Informal would be co-workers, teammates, something to that, like a, a girl or a boy that you're just trying to get to know a little bit better, and then after that, then I think that the male should ask the female on the date to uh, winning so. this fight. Depending, yeah. But yes, so dinner is definitely yeah, a, our a first formal a formal date. Yes, formal I do think first that date and that. dinner is key. Our idea. Number is, six. Number six. You're supposed to have stimulating conversation. Um, this one. Oh, how do you not die? Oh shit! I'm right. Um, this I don't think is as important as other points that this article makes I think that small talk is extremely important on your first date because you're not gonna have like some deep moral or political or religious type of conversation on your first date which is, it's, it's very rare that that's gonna happen and if it does you guys are on a whole nother level and you should be writing some articles about how to pick up women or dudes <laughs> But anyways, so I think, in contrary to what this says, I think that small talk is extremely important, and you should take take pride in your small talk because your small talk is going to lead into bigger, more stimulating conversations later in the relationship, and maybe even later in the date. Just keep that in mind. Yes. Don't, I, however, I think don't there skip should out be. On that. I think there should be one conversation that the girl the female goes home or goes to work the next day or does whatever she does calls her girlfriend on the phone and says he said this and we had a really good conversation about this topic i think there should probably be one topic through the whole date that goes 
yeah, if you can if you can stick on one topic and if you know something that you think is interesting, yeah, stick with it because that's you're gonna get a lot more out of it, especially if you know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think one topic should probably go into depth th so that she remembers. You that, buy that. Yeah, she remembers that conversation, that part of the conversation of the night or something. Yeah, like that. but be be careful what it's about. Right. Make sure that it's not something. Be negatively remembered for. Mm -hmm. Number seven, you're supposed to drink in moderation. Like we said earlier, to calm the nerves, a glass of wine, a beer, fine. But don't get hammered. Don't get hammered. Alcohol, don't be slurring your words during your. Alcohol can be your friend up until a point, but then, like after you get to a certain, it's like climbing a mountain. You climb the alcohol mountain, <laughs> and it can be your friend and you can be at your highest point <laughs> but then on your way down she's saying oh, okay he's kind of sloppy this is kind of annoying uh am I, i'm gonna have to drive home yeah that's when it gets awkward uh, when she I'm doesn't know what to, to do like i'm gonna have to drop you off are you gonna stay i can't let him leave you put her in bad situations yeah. or even him yeah if you're drinking because Say she drove to your house. Just or don't you put met. one or the other in an awkward position. Don't, yeah, don't. Be respectful. It's what it comes yeah. down to. Be don't. respectful of that first date and show them who you are without being yeah. drunk, you know? You can let alcohol. Don't let the alcohol mountain get the best of you. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to use that in future videos. I like it. Number eight <laughs> the guy is supposed to pick up the tab. My science to this is the $40 rule. Uh, under $40, I think that no questions asked, guys should pick it up. Team deathmatch. Above $40, the female needs to acknowledge and offer to pay her own. Although no male should let her pay her own, she should All offer and acknowledge that, hey, thank you Take for paying for my meal. Um, I'm just let him know that you're willing to do that because key point that I missed the first time we did this if you take a female out on like three dates and you kind of are just automatically pulling out your wallet to pay for it what does that say about the female is she just like unresponsible and willing to take whatever's given to her or is she going to like, is that how it's going to be forever you know yeah, exactly. you have to think about that because if you're not yeah is she at least is she offering you don't have to let her pay for right. any of these dates but is she willing to to pay mm -hmm. is she willing to to help out and maybe buy your dinner every once in a while yeah i think two girls are kind of on this thing where okay the first date yeah go ahead you pay for it but then at the end of the night if it goes well that kind of thing say okay next date we go on i'll pick up the check or something to that just like you said acknowledge the fact that he picked up the check the first time yeah it's, you know yeah i acknowledge offer to pay it uh no matter what i i find that incredibly important for me just because i would look at something like that hey is she gonna ever offer to buy my dinner and i know that doesn't seem like very chival or whatever the hell you want to call it but at the same time we live in a world where one income is not going to do it for a family mm -hmm. and one income paying for every dinner is not going to work um, right especially, especially college relationships i think is important for you to do that too. You yeah. need to, you know, alternate or Just something be, to that. Be selfless because yes. nothing selfless. is more That's attractive is. It actually says that deeply, in the article. Deeply caring, <laughs> what selfless? Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Be selfless. If it you shows, are, it, it will show. Yeah. That, it shows that you care about her and that you are capable of being selfless. I don't, and that's not just for the guy either. Right, that goes make both sure, ways. Make sure yes. that's both ways. 